Hey home cooks, today I'm making herb deviled eggs with crispy prosciutto and you're gonna wanna double this recipe because these are gonna disappear really fast. Welcome back and I'm Lisa Marie and if you're new to this channel, thanks for joining me. Now, the recipe I'm doing today, these deviled eggs are my basic recipe for deviled eggs, but just with a little twist to make them a little bit more fancy. All right, let's get started. So I have my pot and I've put six eggs in here. This is cold water and come in closer. It's cold water, there's about maybe an inch, almost an inch of water over that. That's all I want. I'm gonna turn on the heat and we're gonna bring this up to a boil. So keep an eye on the pot because as soon as it starts to have that rapid boil, we're gonna turn the heat off, get the pot off of the heat and we're gonna cover it. And it's really important you do that so we get the right temperature and it's a hard boiled egg, not a soft boiled egg or anything in between. So the eggs are boiling. I'm gonna turn this off, take it off of the heat and cover it. And I'm gonna let it sit for 11 minutes in the hot water and it's gonna bring it right to that hard boiled egg consistency that we want. So now that the eggs are resting in the hot water, remember they're still cooking in that hot water, I'm gonna start with getting the prosciutto into the oven and let me get that out of the refrigerator right now. So we can get these all crisp, crispy, crisp. Now I'm using my toaster oven. I use this thing all the time rather than heating up my big oven and I've set it to 350 degrees and the prosciutto's on some parchment paper. We're gonna just stick that in there and I'm gonna let that cook for about 10 minutes. And I'm gonna keep an eye on it because I want it to get just crispy enough to have that crunch. Okay, I'm gonna prep my herbs. I've got my Italian parsley. And make sure this is finely chopped. Nice and fine. Although you might still get parsley in your teeth, but if you're with a really good friend, they'll tell you. That's how you know they're a good friend. I'm gonna cut up a little green onion straight from the farmer's market that off and I want this pretty fine and go ahead and use the green parts too and last a little dill And just so you know, I've chopped up about a tablespoon of each of the herbs. And feel free to experiment with other herbs. Just a starting point here. So the eggs are almost at 11 minutes. So I wanted to prepare an ice bath because I'm gonna take it out as soon as it's 11 minutes, take them out, throw them in the ice bath so that they cool down and they stop cooking. It's gonna shock them. Because if we keep letting them cook, they're gonna get too rubbery. They won't be good. So I'm gonna take the eggs out and put them in the ice bath. I could probably use a little bit more ice, but, um, but I'm out. <laughs> it happens. But the water's really cold, so we're good. And so that's shocking them, stopping the cooking, and we're just gonna let the eggs cool down and, and we can move on. All right, I'm gonna check on the prosciutto. Ah, there it is. We just need a little bit on each egg. So don't worry, that's plenty of prosciutto. All right, the eggs are nice and cool and I'm just gonna peel them now. If they cooperate. And here's a really good hint. I have read that if you use older eggs that you've had for a while, that they are easier to peel. And I tried it. And it seems to work, but you can use the Googles to see if I'm right. And if you're wondering what kind of egg I buy, I buy the organic pastured egg, and I just like the way these taste better. So make sure you get all the little pieces of shell off and any membrane that might be on there. And um, why did I keep forgetting this point? 
I keep wanting to tell you something. I don't remember. <laughs> Download, got it. Um, you could cook these the night before if you want to, so you don't have to do all of this at the same time. Um, and that would just make things a little bit easier. How hard was it to remember that? <laughs> so I'm gonna cut these in half. And look at that, a nice hard boiled egg. Okay. So I'm gonna take the egg yolks out and put them in a bowl. I just clean up the sides and the top a little bit from the cutting. And they should just fall out, just like that. And I'm just gonna sit these on a plate for now, until we fill them. So I got all of the egg yolks out. I'm just gonna take my fork and mash the egg yolks. Make sure you mash them really well. I don't like getting like whole pieces of yolk in my mouth. It should be kind of crumbly. And I'm gonna grab the mayo now. I already pre-measured about a fourth cup of that. We're gonna throw that in. It's organic mayo, if you're wondering. I suppose you could use veganaise if you don't wanna use the mayo. Um, if, I should try that and I'll let you know. But let's keep adding things to it. I have Dijon mustard. A little white wine vinegar. A little Tabasco sauce. Salt, pepper and all of the herbs, the parsley, the dill, and the scallions. And let's just mix that all together. And that's that. Now I wanna make sure my prosciutto is ready, so it's coming off of that, and I'm just going to break that up. My hands. And then I'm gonna go in and just kinda chop it up a bit. You can hear the crunch. Remember, we're just gonna put a little bit of this on each egg. So I have my eggs, I have my filling, and I have my prosciutto. Now, you can fill these with a spoon if you would like, or let me reach into my little thing here. You can make your own piping bag, or if you have a piping bag, that's fine. And all you're gonna do is just cut off the end of that, like so, and just add a little. I'm just gonna demo this real fast. A little bit in there. And what will happen, if I do this right, is you can pipe it out. Pretty easy, right? I like to take a little bit at a time so that the egg doesn't shoot up the and down <laughs> and make a big mess, which I've had happen before. You can go in and dot in if you have extra, just to fill them up all the way so you don't waste anything. So let's finish this off so they're pretty. So I'm gonna take some of that chopped prosciutto and put on top. And you can leave the prosciutto off if you have people that don't particularly care for it. It'll still be just as good. And then you can sprinkle a little parsley, just add a little more color. And just because my grandma used to do this, a little paprika, and do it from high above, like you would salt if you're finishing something, so you don't have a big clump. And there's your herb doubled eggs with crispy prosciutto. If you want to see more videos like this, check out these, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you know every time I put out a new video. I feel like I need a glass of champagne or wine with this, right? So um, look for that, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.